trouble. Oh my goodness, what a huge crash. Scott Dixon is in it. climb from that car. Wow. Let's show you what happened. Bizarre would be, I guess, um, a good word for it based on uh, this first look. As we watch the cars go through here, guys, the car on the very top, okay, which is Jay Howard. We're going to roll this through now. Well, look at Jay. He's already way off the line. He's off the dark patch of the racetrack, which we call the racing line. He's up in the gray. He's lost control of the car. He's hoping he's not going to hit the wall. He impacts the wall, comes off the wall, just misses the 10 of Tony Kanaan. Unfortunately, Scott Dixon is right there up and over the front of the car. Mm. Car hits on the top of the wall. The safety cell on these cars, guys, I can't tell you how strong they are. An awful accident, but as we saw, Scott Dixon right there, hands away from the steering wheel. We saw him get out, and when we first went to this frame, when we first saw this accident, you heard some roar from the crowd, and that was because they knew that Scott Dixon was okay, and the 77 of Jay Howard was also okay. Boy, this is just bad timing on Dixon's part and incredible fortune with the way this car lands on top of the wall. Or oh, He's incredibly fortunate. On top, on top right there. On top, on the top load. He had nowhere to go. Absolutely nowhere to go. And it landed exactly the way you don't want a car to land on a guardrail. He was just so lucky that the hard part of the car did not land three feet farther back. There is an incredible amount of debris over in that part of the corner. Being told by race control they may be going to the red flag here and will be going to the red flag to clean up the racetrack. But an awful crash. Jay Howard hits the wall first. Scott Dixon with no place to go. Is that Castro Neves that went under Dixon? It does, and oh. he runs over some debris. So lucky. Mm. So lucky. The safety cell that Scott Dixon sits in saved his life. I don't think that's an overstatement. Red flag out in the Indianapolis 500. Thankfully, both drivers climbed out and walked away. doesn't really use the safety fencing. He lands on top of it. Obviously, part of the part of the car got into it to rip it open, right? Yes. He landed. Yeah. Oh my. I have I have never witnessed an accident like that. You know, we talked about the number three of Elio Castroneves going underneath Scott Dixon's car. Remember, it was Elio a few years ago that ended up going airborne between turns one and two and walked away from that incident as well. 
We see how Scott Dixon was thrown around inside the cockpit of the car. All these drivers are so physically fit. He works out here locally as we ride along on board. Ooh. This is from Castro Nevis. He went right under it. There are so many things that had to go perfectly, Scott. For further uh, checkup, but watch the photographer in the white vest and the red hat on the inside here, right where Dixon's car comes to rest and pierces the safety fencing. So safety officials did uh, attend to that photographer. There you see him talking with those around him. He's texting as well and, and so on as we watched. And he has been taken uh, also for examination after possibly being struck by some of the debris from that accident. Dr. Jerry Punch is at the uh, Infield Medical Center for us. And Jay Howard has walked out. Jay, a couple of impacts. First in the wall, then the secondary impact, you know, with Scott Dixon. First of all, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, yeah no, credit to IndyCar. Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the Moltro safety team, Delara, everyone that's involved in building this car, you know, obviously, you know, I'm fine. You know, it's thanks to them. I'm really glad Scott's okay as he was a, a victim of this. So, you know, sucks. What happened with your car? It looked like we were talking about some suspension issue in the front. Um, I'm not sure about that. You know, we were, uh, we ended up a couple of laps down. We ran out of fuel in the first stint. So that kind of put us a couple of laps down. And yeah, we were out there just trying to, uh, yeah, pick off some laps and see if we get some yellows and maybe try and salvage something from a race. And Hunter Ray comes, you know, gets a run on me. I lift, let him go, try and be the nice guy. And uh, he moves right over on me and puts me out in all the gray and all the marbles. And, you know, the rest is history. And he causes a massive accident. So, you know, to say I'm unhappy is an understatement. We saw Scott Dixon's car coming up behind you. Could you see on your left side mirror his car approaching or, or did it happen too quickly? No, it will happen way too quickly. You know, I let Hunter Ray go and then I try to slot in behind him, but you know, he pushed me out in, in the marbles and uh, I was just a passenger at that point. Glad you're okay. Yeah, thanks. Alan? All right, Doc. You can hear the disappointment in Jay Howard's voice. Indianapolis Motor Speedway, this horrific crash moments ago produced a red flag. Jay Howard's car comes across. That's the four-time champion, Scott Dixon, who launches and is airborne. His car contacts the wall with the right side, spins around and comes to rest. Howard's car also just about 30 feet away. The good news, both drivers have walked out, and now here is Scott Dixon out of the care center. Scotty, Jay Howard told us you were okay, but let's ask you, how are you? Yeah, just a, a little beaten up there, you know, it was um, definitely a bit of a rough ride, but I'm um, just, I'm bummed for the team, man, you know, uh, bummed for Camping World, you know, I think we had a, we had a great shot. We got a little loose on the first, uh, first stint there, but they, uh, they dialed it in, we were starting to make some progress. And uh, overall, I think we're just a little bit light on downfalls, but I think for later on in the race, that would have been the right move to have. But uh, yeah, just I'm just bummed for them, man. Glad everybody was okay. It was definitely a, a wild ride uh, for sure. And, and uh, big thanks to Delara and everybody you know, for the safety standards that we have right now. We saw you moving around in the car. What's it like? We, we know that you're okay now. When you, when you hit Howard and the car launched in the air, you know, what are you seeing? What are you thinking? Yeah, it's it's tough. You know, I think when you make those decisions, you know, of which way to go, you, you, you're hoping that the car, you know, I was hoping that, that Jay was going to stay against the wall, but uh, obviously with the impact, it then started to turn down. But I'd already picked that, you know, that way to go, and, and there was nowhere else uh, to try and avoid him. So I'm um, glad he's okay too. And, and it's just a while, right, man? You just hold on um, and, you know, uh, you know, believe in the safety, uh, you know, progress that we've had over, you know, uh, the last many years. Well, now that we know you're okay, let's talk about the race, which you wanted to talk about when you came out. Getting ready to, getting ready to go back here and make some pit stops. Does your teammate, Tony Kanaan, have something, you know, for, for the other cars? Yeah, I think, you know, as I said just before, I think we just, we, we started a little light. You know, uh, I struggled and dropped back on the first, and uh, TK, I could see he was starting to come back to in, in that second one there. But, you know, uh, I think, you know, come towards the end of the race, as the track rubbers up, as the ambient maybe helps us with this car cover, it's, uh, you know, hopefully TK's got a good shot here. But we'll have to see. You know, there's some great competitors out there, and, uh, you know, big thanks to all the fans. You know, it's, a, it's amazing to race at this place. Uh, I love coming here and can't wait for next year. We love having you here. We're so thankful you're okay, Scott. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, bud. Scott Dixon, able to walk away from that crash and that just shows you how hard they have worked Alan on the safety of these cars.